going to walk you through the top eight of tonight's MSM. It's going to be Loombray and Master Mario. And I gotta say, it's a pleasure. Uh, I'm okay, yo. Mm -hmm. And he has no dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he needs no introduction, even though I introduced him right now. But you know what? Let's get to that. Yeah. So we have. So this is kind of interesting to see how these two play. I have actually have never watched Master Mario and Okio. Oh, uh, sorry. Huh? And Loombray play. <laughs> but it's going to be interesting to see nonetheless. Yeah, I might be a little biased being a PK main myself. But uh, yeah, I haven't seen this match either. Um, Oh, mm, what? So at that situation here, I felt that Lumbre held the wrong DI? Question mark? He's looking at me and I'm looking at him. I'm hoping he holds the right DI next time. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a commentary coaching, yeah, but uh, let's letting him know where it will happen. Yeah, that was a wonky uh, little kill. I feel like there was something else that happened. Oh my god, no. But usually what it is, too, if you're holding the wrong DI, so you want to be careful where you hold the DI when you get hit by Mario's B if you're holding it incorrectly. You will, I, I think it's, you have to hold it like down and away, and you'll be you'll be fine. But if you're holding it like up and away, you'll get yeah. caught by and you'll lose. Yeah, stuff. it's like he hit the, the top and outer part <laughs> of it. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, uh, 126 on Master Mario, but uh, remember struggling with this first stock. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> that was really good too because if Loomer was going to go for the directional air dodge to come back on the stage, or if he was going to go for the up B, that would have been good because he still got up air. Yeah, and it was uh, cool that he took his, uh, his uh, up smash at the ledge, mm -hmm. and uh, Mass Mario was just out of his options. On that air dodge, just goes so far. Nice directional air dodge grab the ledge here. <laughs> Orchestra did mention that it's pretty much Ness's third jump because of the way that Ness has the directional air dodge set up where it has a great aerial drift. Yeah, it's, um, it kind of has a little bit of that uh, animation that Ness's double jump has. Mm -hmm. It's just the height <laughs> that yeah. he gets into a two back air. And a landing one will take care of Uber's stock here. Uber on a little bit of a back end, but two stocks to Master Mario's. Yeah. I feel here for Loombrake too, what's becoming pretty difficult for him is when he lands, it's the fact that Master Mario can either go for a grab, but not only that in the air-to-air, -air, Mario has the speed to kind of contest with Ness's like disjoints and his like ability to also have great aerials. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like what it is, is Mario's like just his nair, back air, things like down air are also really good against him. Oh, he yeah. held it wrong again. Yeah, I feel like uh, Mario just wins trades in general. Uh, better, you yeah. know, like, uh, Ness is, you know, forward air, up air, like, they could maybe get 1% <laughs> and not connect to the rest that deals more of the damage. So that kind of always sucks when I'm, like, playing, you know, <laughs> when that happens. Hey, man, sometimes you, you just you just take losses the way it yeah. happens, man. Sometimes the way the character works, right, but it's also up to you to understand, okay, if that's going to work against me, what would be the better option here? And that's for Loomber to kind of figure out and understand. That was a great back air, but unfortunately yeah. not enough. Get scooped up by the upper if that's... Yeah, and that's kind of like what you have to do against Mario mains, I feel. Like you, like you have to just anticipate their aerial and mm -hmm. just not get hit by theirs and then yeah. hit them. And speaking of what not to do against Mario mains too, Loomber didn't panic when he got hit by double flood. So he yeah. was going to be able to keep his positioning and then immediately strike back in with a forward air. Great use of the yeah. angle PK fire, kind of bringing Master Mario a little bit of heat. And I think it was even a B reverse. He was like looking away and then he went over the platform and B reverse it. Yeah. That was like really good momentum, like, because mm -hmm. uh, it could have easily, you know, I could have easily like gone the opposite way. And, you know, let's not talk about that. <laughs> but it's a really good movement from Lumber. Nice lining up air. Moved right into that. But this is definitely like a, a better showing. If you just get this uh, this stock off and like not let uh, Master Mario run away with the momentum. Nice down throw. Kind of a bit of a mix up here. Sometimes people will much more anticipate a forward throw to set up for the latch guard. Yeah. Down throw, but a big mix up here once more again. Third jump coming in from this, and Wilbury takes in center stage. I like the opportunity. He knows where he has to be to survive. Yeah. And I like Master Mario's patience. He's not trying to like, you know, rush any of this. You know, he has the lead, and uh, you know, he could just easily end up losing the stock. And why? Mm -hmm. Solid pressure, and it's going to shield poke that at that percent here and get rid of the stock. That's good. He's able to actually recover back on the stage. Ooh, nice, and buys that for momentum here as well. 
This is good for Limber, but at the same time, it's also really tough. The baseball slide, the Empire calls that landing not safe here. More floods. Limber knows he can't panic here, but unfortunately, Ooh. he's actually able to that land, angle. but the back air. I really like that angle because he went the opposite way and still found the ledge break. Mm -hmm. I mean, Master just. I always just marvel like how on another level he is. I think we all kind of like gasped a little bit at that forward <laughs> smash. Right. <laughs> nice there. He's able to come in with no tech chase coming up from Master Mario. Good tech roll in to avoid getting caught by either a jab or a forward smash. At this point, I'm seeing Moonbreak kind of take a slow control here. I mean, he's got game three and there's no tech. Yeah. So I mentioned if you don't tech that right, you'll get caught by a jab or a forward yeah. smash. And luckily, uh, that was on the opposite side of the stage, facing the wrong way, and Thunder's <laughs> still alive. And got the stock off. I love it. Looking for that micro spacing here to kind of get a whip punch against Master Mario. Especially when Moonbreak knows he's giving up the whole stage for a high roll on the fact that he'll probably will punish him for it. They're not going to finish that game. Nice. Doesn't waste the PK Thunder. Doesn't, only who's in the second jump. Oh. Doesn't grab the ledge. No. Yeah, you hate to see that happen. Yeah. And it's, yeah, I hate to see it. Yeah, it's like like Ness is a, a B. You know, you always find some really just horrible situation where you're going to up B and like, just be like, ah, just do it. Just mm -hmm. hit me. That upbeat doesn't really give you a lot of time to like reflect on. How am I gonna? <laughs> like not that. Right. Not only that too, but the fact that like if you do go to the upbeat, most of the time you do commit it, especially if you're not gonna grab the ledge, right? You don't yeah. have enough time to. <laughs> yeah. The time has passed. Yeah, much. it's already obvious. Like they're like, uh, I, I don't play this, but I would do this. Uh, you know that really horrible angle that just lands you on stage. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, using the directional air dodge to kind of come back on the stage, but he only gets grabbed and gets the punish here. Yeah. For Lumbre, I kind of want to see him side style a little bit more on those recoveries, too, but he also understands, too, Mario's flood will definitely push me away if I go for the side styles a little bit too often at the ledge. Yeah. I feel like um, Lumber's been doing best when he's uh, playing, you know, a little bit more, like, aware of what Mass is doing, mm -hmm. and Mass is just kind of running away with, uh, you know, like, letting Lumber just try to, you know, do an overly aggressive uh, offense. Yeah, speaking of being an overly aggressive offense here, Master Mario with the get-up attack too. That was really good too, only because the fact that Limber was at the ledge. But I like the fact that Limber kind of set himself out the ledge, so we also be able to secure another way to kind of grab Mar Master Mario from coming up on the stage. But I mentioned the size balls yeah. and how good they would be, and if he does it too much, or at this point, your Master Mario only saw it one time, he knew what kind of punish to go for. Yeah, and um, and it was the exact same way that he did it too, which is kind of like once once you start doing those uh, B reverse down Bs and like you know off the ledge, um, it's just kind of fun to do that to like move yourself, yeah. especially since like the down B kind of acts as a force field for like projectiles and even some attacks, but that up smash just eats through it still. Forward air, yeah. Oh, good DI though. Yeah, avoid that little like uh, DI trap. Mm -hmm. It's good to understand like which DI you kind of have to hold against Mario. That was good. He overshot it for the purpose yeah. that he doesn't want to get caught up by either Cape, and he kind of shot it a little bit upwards. Yeah, and he kind of even like uh, avoided the the flood a little bit. <laughs> the, the floor is kind of... I was gonna say like Lumbre has been doing really good from the last game because he's been looking to slowly adapt, mm. but he kind of catches him there on the PK Thunder oh, mix up. He's keeping it, it even. He's I'm, I mentioned it. I'm sorry. He's, he kind of caught up to Master Mario the last game, and now he's definitely putting that yeah. to practice here in the third game. And, like, Ness mains need to, like, use their PK Thunder. Otherwise, like, you know, they're just going to the type of people who just, like, uh, trade better. And you just gotta, like, surprise them with, like, a PK Thunder too. Kill him at 77. Yeah, speaking of surprising him with PK Thunder here, that was really good for Wolverine to kind of hold that down air to the yeah. back air. I love it, trading spaces here. Throw. Oh, oh my god. If that was not a last second call there from Lubre. Oh, and then we got a game three. No, game four. Yeah, no, game game, game three. Game. Three. So, yeah, you're right. Game four. I'm not apologizing. That was good from Lubre, too. Sorry, he guys. They don't teach us how to count over here. <laughs> words are hard. No, numbers, <laughs> if words are hard, numbers are even harder. Man. And then, like, there's like semis. Come on. We changed the numbers. 
right? I think it's weird. That was, but that was good for Moonray too. I mentioned yeah. how last game he already caught up to Master Moro's game plan in game two. Yeah. Right, putting in the game three, he put that into practice, knowing what he needs to pull off against Master Moro. Especially understanding the runoff fair and being at the position of the ledge. He knows Master Moro's call. Yeah, and it just kind of seemed like it, at the very end of that last match, Master Moro just kind of was like a deer in headlights for some reason. Mm -hmm. He just kind of was like, oh, I guess I'm going to get back in. Mm -hmm. So, ooh. And I'm sorry, that's not okay. I'm, uh, it is okay because it's in the game, but like literally two uppers to the forward air. I, I feel, I feel robbed for Lumbre. Yeah. Man, I, I love a good spike. I don't. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just my bias. Yeah. You guys know where I sit at the dinner table, and it's not next to the Mario Man's. Your seat at the dinner table is the bedroom. This Thanksgiving, man, I'm not sitting next to Mario. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> <Yo>. sitting. <laughs> I'm sitting next to Marth and Asakura and asking him when they're going to get buffed here. Right. But hopefully Lumber can come up with a, his own personal buff here. He's got that high he's percent at the second stock. Put some more, like, put some rocks in his backpack or something. I don't know. Right. That'd be a nice buff. Back throw. You're looking to set up for that Pinky Thunder change up, but he's yep. only able to cross him up. And that's, uh, I play against uh, my friend Paradox, uh, and he always does that. Like, And he gives so much shield pressure when you do a Pinky Thunder. Mm -hmm. And the shield stone that Mario takes as well, too. It's still really good for him. Good fights for the ledge here with the forward air. Yeah, so a little overly aggressive right there. That was good, too, because if Mar one thing that Master Mario has been going for is those back airs, but the opportunity here at the ledge, when I mentioned the air to air, Mario kind of has this that small notch above Lucas. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Ness. Oh, yeah, and Lucas, too. Yeah. Mario. Nice. He's looking for to see where Master Mario's gonna land. He has the Nair set up there too as well. Down smash. Oh no, he got clipped for the up Yeah, That's not looking good for Lumber. Oh man, man, vicious for it. Raw. No confirm. Yeah, and it kind of sucks too because, um, you know, uh, Master had just a little bit of ledge room just to get away from that. I'm sure you cannot be either way just so you can get hit by that last hit of down smash. Back to the yep. And Master Mario have the perfect positioning for two back airs to finish it yep. off. Yo, I've been seeing a lot of restocks. Yeah. Yeah, that would